Hello, good evening. Good evening, Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Janet. Hello, Humberto. Early as always. <laughs> I try. That's very good. That's very, very nice. So how are you? How was your day? Uh, uh, just the other day it was a tired day. Really? It was a tiring day? Why? Yeah. Uh, I had many time, many things to do in, at the work. Oh, I can imagine. And you? How are, how are you? Well, I was doing good, doing many things as well. I mean, ah, there are always things to do from work, from home, from the kids. Ah, there are many things to do all the time. Yeah. And Umberto, how are you? I fine and happy because uh, tomorrow uh, is the final um, week. It's the final uh, day of the week. Final day of the week. I am then start my vacation. Oh yes, so it's for everybody. I think everybody. We are all waiting for the same. And it is it is very common that we wait for the vacation for so long. And the vacation is very short. <laughs> In my case, it's a, a one week. Yeah, it's one week. Yeah, but I think it's, it's going to be the same for us. But uh, I mean, we wait for the vacation. It's like, yeah, vacation. And then, poof, <laughs> In a second, there is no more vacation. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you, it's, it's really. Yes, so enjoy every single day, rest a lot, and finish the platform. <laughs> That's the only thing that I am going to say. That's the only homework that I am going to give you. I don't, I don't like to give homework on vacation because I mean, vacation is, it's vacation, right? But uh, in this case, I am going to tell you the only homework that I am going to say, finish the platform. That's the only homework. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Yes, so, so far, haven't you had any difficulty? I think it, it has, it is very clear it, and it's easy to go. I mean, um, the difficulties that you might find in the platform, it's because of a period of a, a punctuation or something that you didn't write correctly, but the exercises are not that difficult. But remember, my best recommendation will be for you to finish between tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. So you have all the week off and you don't have to remember about me and all the week <laughs> until next Monday. You, when you come back, you're going to say, I have to go with teacher Nati today. And imagine later you are going to come with me only for six days and then bye bye. You leave. So it's going to be. But it's good. I really get very happy when the students go to the next module because you are advancing. So you continue progressing and that it's a very, very good thing. Well, many of your friends are here now. Hello, Evelyn. Welcome, Mr. Carlos Briselda and Mr. Hello. Manuel Villegas. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? We were, we were here sharing a little bit before you appeared. And yes, it's a very good recommendation. So finish between today, tomorrow, and Saturday and Sunday. And so you have the week off. This is going to be like the little kids in the school, right? If you finish everything on the weekend, then the vacation is complete, they say. So that's the same recommendation that I give to all of you. Okay, so today we are going to go over, today's day number 10. We are going to go over... Um, geographical features, and also we're going to study comparatives and superlatives. This is not a new topic for you, I know, because maybe you studied this in previous uh, modules, and um, it's going to be kind of a review, right? The comparatives and superlatives have a specific rules that we need to follow, and it works only for adjectives, okay? This is only for adjectives. You don't compare with nouns, for example, but uh, you use comparatives and superlatives with uh, adjectives. So we're going to be uh, checking a little bit on that 
today. Let me see. Let me share my screen so everybody can see it. Today is our class number 10. Chan, chan, chan. Great. And thank you because I don't have to remind you again to keep your cameras on and to participate as much as possible. I really love that you don't use Spanish anymore and that it's very nice, right? Only when it is very, very, very necessary. And to work on the educational platform, right? That's something that we need to, um, to remember. Just to catch up a little bit on yesterday's class, what did we talk about? About tips. Uh-huh, we talk about tips. What do you remember about tips? Tip to use mm -hmm. when you go to the In restaurant. Airport, uh, the bags of pay one or two dollars. Exactly, uh, when, you go, when you go to the restaurants, restaurant. exactly, the ones on which you can give only one or two dollars just to park <laughs> the car, that's very good. Uh -huh. What else do you remember from yesterday? Um, more expensive in taxi driver and I don't remember. <laughs> uh -huh, the most expensive, well, one of the most expensive was the, the taxi drivers, taxi right? The taxi driver. Right. Exactly, the taxi drivers. And also the hairdressers and the barbers that they don't have um, a very high salary because they receive low wages. Uh, so you can give the tip as much as you want. So Yesterday, we also talked about geographic features. What geographic features do you remember from yesterday's class? Value. Yeah, I remember. Waterfall. Uh -huh. Beaches. Good. Mountains. Good. Island. The island. The island. Volcano. It's like, oh, I remember, teacher, because you have it. <laughs> It's like the beach, right? Um, the desert, the forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, ocean, river, mountain. valley, volcano, and waterfall. For you, if you have the opportunity to travel, and I am going to ask one by one, if you have the opportunity to travel to a, a specific place, which one do you consider the best? Let's start with Janet. Which one do you consider the best for you to travel and visit? The ocean. The ocean, uh huh. Carlos Antonio? Alaska. Alaska. Which? Alaska. Alaska <laughs> well, yes. that would be the mountains, right? The mountains. Mountain, cold. It's the, the rivers. cold weather, the rivers. rivers. Excellent. Fish, uh, yeah. salmon. <laughs> oh, salmon and everything. Yeah, yes. that would be great. Gerardo? Which feature uh, do you prefer if you, con if you prefer, could choose one? I prefer one? Ever and Ever Beach. The beach. Okay, the beach. Manuel Villegas? I prefer the mountains. The mountains. Okay. Good. Um, Evelyn? Uh, the beach. The beach. Humberto? I prefer the forest. The forest. Briselda? I prefer a mountain the, too. The mountain, mountain. It's a very curious word, mountain. It is, which one do you prefer? Hola. Yes, it is, which one do you prefer? Hola. Yes, yes, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, let's see. I think we're having issues with the connection and the connectivity. Let me see, let me see. I am very sorry. I had issues with the connection. I don't know what happened, but I am back. I am back. So we were talking about the features, right? Let's go back here uh, with the features. Good. So this is what we were talking about. And I was asking Iris, Iris, uh, which feature do you prefer if you have the chance to travel to a specific prefer. one? A beach. The beach, right? Yeah, I would prefer the beach as well. I think it's one of my favorite places to go. I really like the rivers, but I prefer the beach. I think it's more beautiful. 
And as I was telling you yesterday, the beach is just the part with sand, right? That's what you call the beach. And the ocean is the rest of, of the water and everything that you have there. Okay, so the topic for today is the comparatives and superlatives. So this is what we are going to be basing our class today uh, in comparatives and superlatives. First, I am going to share the different rules for you to remember them. And then we're going to go over some of the exercises from the book. So just to get into the context of the uh, comparatives and superlatives, I am going to share this little conversation that we have here. And it says, here's a geography quiz in the paper. In the paper, it's in the newspaper, right? Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question, which country is larger, China or Canada? I know Canada is larger than China. Hmm. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Mm, I think it's the Mississippi. Uh, okay, here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. So as you can see here in the conversation, we have the specific introduction for the comparatives and superlatives. How we have a specific words, like for example, when you say which country is larger and it says, okay, Canada is larger than China. When you use comparatives, it is also very common to find the word then because it acts as what we have in Spanish, que, right? Es más bonito que, es más grande que, what we use in Spanish. So in this case, when you say Canada is larger yeah. than China. What's the longest river? In this case, we have a superlative and superlatives are very common because of the EST letters at the end of the adjective. And in this one, you are going to have only one because the superlative is only one thing, okay? You say, which is the best? Ah, the best is El Salvador, you say. You don't say, ah, El Salvador and Guatemala. You cannot have two options in a superlative form because it is only one, the superior one, the best. In the comparisons, you can have two. In the superlatives, only one. The next one, when you say, which country is more crowded? And you have two options, right? Monaco or Singapore. In this case, you don't say, which country is more crowded than? Because in this case, you are not going to use a, this yeah. word, right? We have to be very careful with this. I'm, I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded, right? If the comparative is at the end of the sentence, you don't use then also, okay? So, si en la pregunta tienen dos opciones, tampoco ocupamos then. Y si el comparativo está al final de la oración, tampoco ocupamos then. And um, it says, which South American capital is the highest? Which one is the highest? And you give three options. Uh, La Paz, Quito, or Bogota, right? And you also give different intonation to the question. That's easy. Bogota is the highest. Also, when you use comparatives, the word da, it's a very good friend of it. Because you say, el mejor, el más grande, el más bonito, right? Da, it's what makes this difference in the sentence. But I am going to go over the rules so you can refresh them a little bit, and then we're going to go back to the conversation, okay? Okay. Let's go over this one. So if we remember different adjectives, can you give me examples of adjectives that you remember? Old. Uh -huh, old. Big. 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 Big, uh-huh. Nice. Nice. <laughs> it is very funny. Beautiful. When, when you oh, when you have to give the, the adjectives like okay. <laughs> Beautiful, <laughs> ugly. Uh-huh. Mm. Colors. The all the colors that uh, can all be the colors. Yes, mm -hmm. the, the colors can be adjectives as well. What else? 
size. Uh -huh. The sizes, say big, small, thin, fat, etc. etc. Funny. Funny, good, funny. Uh, maybe can we can use to um, um, far? Far, or... okay, far, mm -hmm. short, uh, short, near. Right, it is It is very curious that you say like, hey, teacher, but I know many adjectives. I know many adjectives. But when you say like, hey, decime uno. Uh, <laughs> you don't remember any. So that's why I said, okay, I need to bring some ready for the class. And I wrote 40. <laughs> I wrote uh, a couple, a couple of adjectives, right? Uh, just one or two. I wrote a couple of adjectives for you. And let me just move this a little bit down. We're going to make it, okay. And I wrote, for example, hot, pretty, elegant, tall, big, dangerous, good, small, short, easy, intelligent, serious, smiley, wonderful, nice, exciting, fast, happy, handsome, sad, strong, <clears throat> kind, helpful, little, busy, clever, hard, interesting, attractive. Beautiful, wonderful, near, close, sweet, good looking, warm, difficult, boring, expensive, and modern. So, do you know all of them? Or is mm. it like, our teacher, what's the meaning of that adjective? Yeah. Do you know all of them? Yes? Yes. Okay. So, with all these adjectives, we can work comparing and creating superlatives. The first rule and the most common rule that we have in the comparatives and superlatives is to add ER or EST, right? To the basic adjectives that end in a normal consonant, right? Long, longer, darker, brighter, and you have the examples. And for the superlatives, you add EST. You say longer, longest, darker, darkest, right? Brighter, brightest, right? Comparatives with ER, superlatives with EST. And here we have an example with uh, Barry. It says Barry is taller than Eric and Eric is shorter than Barry. This is an example for a comparative. How can you make an example with a superlative? You say... Uh, Barry, Barry is... Barry. Barry is the tallest. Exactly like that. Barry is the tallest of, of the two, right? Barry is the tallest of the two or the tallest in the classroom, right? Here, I cannot make the example of who is the tallest person in the classroom because we don't really know. Who is the tallest person in this class? That you say, well, I am like one, one meter 80 something. No, I don't know, but uh, I'm for sure that I am the shorter. <laughs> you are the shortest. <laughs> yeah, you're the shortest. Okay, I am one meter 75, taller than the normal women of El Salvador, so <laughs> I am very tall. My and... size is, is one, one meter and 56. Oh my God. So yes, I think you are the shortest girl in the class. And the boys, who is the tallest boy in the class? Humberto? My size is two meters. Two meters, Manuel. Oh my God. Really? Yes. So we, we have a winner yes. here. <laughs> no more questions. <laughs> no more questions. So, Gerardo? I am, uh, my size is one meter 78. Oh, one meter seventy-eight. So you are tall. You are tall. Yeah, you are three centimeters taller than me. <laughs> yeah. Cool. In my and... case, in my case, I my size is one meter and eighty. Eighty. Actually, my God, we have very big boys here. That's good. We feel very safe and secure. <laughs> <laughs> we feel we feel safe. All the ladies are safe here. Aquí tenemos puro hombre grande. That's very nice. Very good. Mr. Carlos Antonio, how tall are you? Uh, we got it. We got him in the middle of the conversation. <laughs> Your microphone. Thank right you, Gerardo. <laughs> uh, I am the one 
0.72 meters. 1.72. Okay, so I think Manuel Villegas is the winner here. <laughs> yes, two meters. <laughs> even even I would be like, hi, no worry. <laughs> how's everything there? How's how's uh, the weather here? <laughs> how's the imagine you, Janet? How's the weather there? <laughs> yeah, in the graduation, we're in the graduation, we're going to see all of us together there. Yes. So the second rule that we have about the comparatives and superlatives, the second rule it's going to be um, adding er or est to the adjectives that have only one syllable. If you have consonant, vowel consonant, you have to double the last syllable, the last letter, sorry, and add est. Right? You say big, bigger. You make double g and er, and for the superlative is the same. Double G, EST. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fat with double T, fatter, fattest, right? Hot, double T, the hottest. Sad, double D, ER for the comparative, and EST for the superlative. And for this one, you just have to remember if you have consonant, vowel consonant, si tenemos consonante, vocal consonante, you have to double the consonant and add this uh, ER for the comparatives, EST for the superlatives. I know these rules might be like, oh, yeah, but I don't remember them. Yeah, but maybe in a spelling, it's just one little word, one little thing that makes the problem. Rule number three, when you have the Y, you change it, right? To IER. Eliminamos la Y y le agregamos IER for the comparative, IEST for the superlatives. Pretty, prettier, prettiest. Angry, angrier, the angriest. Who is the angriest person in this class? And everybody laughs like I hate no, it. Cree, 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 cree. <laughs> nobody, nobody. <laughs> No, but it's funny that when I made the question, you were like, hmm, maybe me. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it, it, it depends on the situation. And the happiest person in this class? Me. <laughs> me, you say? I think we, every, all. we all are, oh. right? <laughs> Who is the, the loveliest person in this class? All, all of us. All the lo too. loveliest. Oh. El más amoroso. Oh. I think everybody, right? The busiest. I don't, the busiest. I don't know, maybe the teacher. Oh, the, ah. my, wife, my wife say I am. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, she, if she says, we believe. Yeah, if believe. she says, <laughs> if, she, if the lady believe says, her. we believe her. Yeah. <laughs> Wives are never wrong. We have to believe. And uh, in the last one, we don't have, right? The ugliest, maybe no. They are in another section. Mm -hmm. They are not here. <laughs> I only got the big ones and the handsome ones and the beautiful ones. That's pretty of awesome. <laughs> okay, so for this one, remember when it finishes in Y, you change it to IER or IEST, okay? That's something easy to remember. When uh, the adjective finishes in E, please don't add another E, right? You don't say closer mm -hmm. or wiser. A stranger, no, just add the R or the ES or the ST, okay? Because it happens. I give you real examples that I have read in many homework, right? You don't say, um, say fair, no, right? You just add the R and the ST form of this. And for the next rule, when they finish in E, right? This is when the adjective finishes in E. For this one, when you have long adjectives, long adjectives, what is that? More than two syllables. You say interesting. Oh, it has more than two syllables. Complete, beautiful, right? You have more than two syllables. Important, right? You have more than two. For this one, you don't say interesting. -er. Interesting. -est. Interesting. No, right? You say more interesting, Peter. more complete more beautiful 
a very common mistake that I have heard in my 18 years of teaching is more easy. Easy <laughs> uh, or more bad. It's like, oh, come on, no. More, it, people say more easy. Easy, it's a one syllable. It's like easy, only one syllable adjective. Say it's easier, but it's not more easy, right? Better, it's a superlative. Well, in this case, it's a comparative. You say when you say better, and people say more better. It's like, no, come on. Better is the comparative form of good. You say good, better, the best. But people say, ah, it's more better. No, please no. Yeah, oh, no. exactly. Because we have those mistakes in Spanish, right? And as we have those mistakes in Spanish, we translate them into English and that it's not possible. So please don't say more better and don't say more easy. No. A dictionary dies when that happens. So please don't, don't do it. <laughs> it's more interesting and more complete. You don't say completed and you don't say beautifuler. You say more beautiful, more important, more dangerous, more exciting, more complicated, more boring. And the most, right? You say it's the most interesting, the most complete, the most beautiful. If I ask the man in my class, who is the most beautiful person that you know? Who is the most beautiful? Uh -huh. Who is the most beautiful person? Janet says, my daughter. Carlos, who is the most beautiful person for you? My wife. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> the wife is right. She's there. here. She's here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is. I know she is the most beautiful. <laughs> Vanessa, who is the most beautiful person for you? My daughter. My daughter. My daughter. <laughs> oh, Briselda, who is the most beautiful person for you? Uh, my daughter, too, and my son. Oh, your daughter and your son. Good. Gerardo? Yes. My wife. My wife. Very good. Yeah, wives. <laughs> we are all beautiful. That's cool. Evelyn? My mom. Your mom. <laughs> Umberto? My little daughter, Fabi. Your little, your little daughter and your wife, for sure, right? <laughs> Manuel? Manuel Villegas? If I don't respond my wife, my life ends here. And... <laughs> <laughs> <Come on. laughs> you don't have the dinner today if you say no. <laughs> You're in danger. <laughs> he's not going to eat today. <laughs> yeah, he's going to and sleep. Maybe for a month, not for yes. a day. <laughs> he's going to sleep outside. <laughs> <laughs> Manuel Sanchez, who is the most beautiful person for you? My wife. Your wife, <laughs> yes. Dinner. All the gentlemen are, 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 are yeah. answering the same. Yes, that's very good. And the ladies, <laughs> it's curious because the ladies didn't say the husband. They say my mom. <laughs> my, my baby. <laughs> my first. baby, uh-huh. Sandra yeah. Yasmin, who is the most beautiful person for you? My mom. Your mom. And it is? My mom. Your mom. Excellent. Do you see? Let's see. Um, what is the most complicated part of your job? What is the most complicated part of your job? When all people uh, want many things, for the first time, for the same time. At the same time, right? When all, yeah. all the people want the things for at the same time. Okay, someone else who wants to share? What is the most complicated part of your job? Mm, Umberto. I think speaking with a complicated customer. Speaking with complicated customers, yes. It's like, oh, <laughs> and you are explaining and explaining and explaining and they don't understand. Briselda. Um, when my boss need a, a report when for you, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> when your boss needs a report for yesterday, right? And it's like, yes. kachap, 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 hurry from up. From now, from now. Huh? <laughs> like, where, yes. is, where is my report? Uh, yeah, and you're like, <laughs> I am doing it right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I, I, I live the same. Don't worry. I know this feel. 
Yes, I know the feeling. Let's see, Vanessa, what is the most complicated part of your job? Uh, the old people, uh, all is urgent. Yes. We have to have this. Urgent, uh -huh. urgent. <laughs> Amy job, all is urgent. <laughs> Everything is urgent, everything. It's like, hey, what yes. is the water? It's urgent. And you are like, oh, I am in the middle of that. I am on my <laughs> way, yes. And let's see, but what is the most exciting part of your job? Let's start with Vanessa because we have the microphone open. What is the most exciting part? Exciting. The ones that you say like, yeah, I like that. I like it. Uh, the Laura de Salida. <laughs> <laughs> the time to Agreed. go, right? Friday, <laughs> at, <laughs> Friday I say at 5 p.m. Friday, Friday. I think that's the most uh, exciting part of life, right? When everything is, is done and you know that you did a very good job during the day. So this is the important part of this. When you say more and most, right? Remember that. And let's go with the last um, rule. Irregulars, irregular forms. For this one, you have good, better, best. Bad, worse, the worst. Well, better, the best. Far, farther, the farthest. Right, these are irregular forms of comparatives. Any question? Um. <laughs> what is the pronunciation comparative so far? So far. Which one? The pronunciation, the comparative of far. Ah, the second one. Further, 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 and, and the superlative. Furthest. Further. Okay. Furthest. Furthest. Right. Far. Further. Furthest. Well. Better. Best. Bad. Worst. Worst. This is worse, and this is worst. Good. Better. Best. Right. Remember. That for the superlatives you say the best, the worst, uh, the best for well is the same and the furthest. What is the furthest place that you have traveled to? Guatemala. Guatemala. Carlos Antonio, what is the furthest place that you have traveled to? Uh, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Janet? Ah. Uh. Uh, I never uh, traveled uh, places too further, far, far, further. Uh huh. Too far. In uh, this case, like, I, ha I have never traveled yeah. that far. Uh huh. Usulutan. Usulutan. Yeah, that's far. <laughs> Good. Briselda. Um, I say Guatemala. Guatemala. <laughs> ah, yeah. Sorry, Gerardo. Um, um, Ecuador. Ecuador. Hey, good. Evelyn? Um, Panama. Panama. Humberto? Um, Mexico. Mexico. Good. Manuel Villegas? Um, La Unión. <laughs> La Unión. Good. That's very far. <laughs> Manuel Sanchez? What is the farthest place that you have traveled? Guatemala. Guatemala. Sandra? Costa Rica. Costa Rica. ¿En Miguel? La Unión. El... To La Unión, right? Yeah, La Unión is very, 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 very far. It's pretty cool. Well, so these are the rules, right? The rules that we need to follow for the comparatives and superlatives. This was just for you to remember, for you to catch up a little bit on uh, the rules. I know that you knew them before but it was necessary to refresh them. So, uh -huh. okay, second one now, we're going to do an exam. <laughs> Just like, what? What, what? Bye, teacher. <clears throat> Bye. Oh, what? Goodbye. I have problems with I don't it. have connection. Connection, <laughs> problems. Problems, <laughs> connections. <laughs> Internet off. Uh, it's like, oh, teacher. <laughs> Hace me congeló la cámara. Así <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, see. Ryan Gay. <laughs> and your daughter behind, like. <laughs> Let's see. Miss Vanessa, what is the comparative and the superlative for elegant? Elegant. Uh, more elegant. Uh -huh. Most elegant. Uh -huh. More elegant and the most elegant. Ah, you survive. Very good. <laughs> Miguel Ramirez, what is the comparative and the superlative of busy? <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. What, Repeat, teacher. What is the comparative and the superlative for busy? Very easy. Most easy. No, busy. 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 Uh, is. Easier. More busy. They say busier. Uh huh. Okay. And the superlative? Most busy. <laughs> no. One syllable. Yeah, one so syllable. The BCS. Yes. The BCS. The BCS. Good. Very good. Okay. You survive. You survive. Carlos Antonio. Mm -hmm. What is the comparative <laughs> and the superlative for nice? Nicer and nicest. Very good, you survive, you survive. Ah, I'm going to give you a start. Mm. Priselda, what is the comparative and the superlative for kind? Kind, um, kind there. Kinder, uh huh. Kindest. Very good kindest. job, very good job. Uh, you survive, you survive. Yeah. Another one, another one. Evelyn, what is the comparative and the superlative for handsome? Uh, Handsome, most handsome. Uh -huh. More handsome and the most handsome. Very good. So you survived. That's nice. Umberto, what is the comparative and the superlative for big? Is bigger and the and biggest. Exactly, right? We're not talking about the restaurant, but the biggest. Manuel Villegas, what is the comparative and the superlative for clever? Mm. More clever. Uh huh. Mm. Ah, more clever and and it, uh, the most clever. most clever. The most uh -huh. clever. Good. Very good. Ah, you survive. It, you survive. It ends with with R. Yeah, clever. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Surviving. Surviving. Good. Manuel Sanchez, what is the comparative and the superlative for wonderful? More wonderful and most wonderful. More wonderful and the most wonderful. Sandra, what is the comparative and the superlative for serious? Sandrita, serious? Please. Sandrita, yeah, hello, Sandrita. Hello. hello, hello. Sandra, hello. Ah, my connection again. Hello. Hello, I am back. Let me Hi. see. Let me see. I think I'm here. I think I'm here. Yes. <laughs> Sandra, I was asking you. Sorry. I don't know what's going on. I think I have a lot of issues with the connectivity. Okay. I was asking Sandra about a let me see what was it it was wonderful a more wonderful and most wonderful more wonderful and the most wonderful excellent and let me see turn 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 who am i missing mr miguel modern Hi, teacher. Hello, modern. What is the comparative and the superlative form? 
of modern. <clears throat> Okay, okay. Is with me, teacher? Yes, Mr. Miguel, yes. Wow, okay, excuse me. <laughs> modern and... Uh -huh, modern. What is the comparative and the superlative form? Is the number... Number 40. 40. Yes. Okay, modern. Mm. Uh, mothers, no. More. More. Ah, more and most. More uh -huh. mother, most mother. Very good job. <laughs> it was just with a little help. That was good. Thank you very much. Let's see. Okay, so we were right here. So. <clears throat> Talking about this in sentences, you have comparisons with adjectives. In this case, you say, which country is larger, Canada or China? In this case, you are giving options, right? As I explained at the beginning in the conversation, when you say, eh, which country is larger, Canada or China? And you say, Canada is larger than China. Okay. Which city has the largest population? Tokyo, Mexico City, Mexico or City. Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the tree. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Okay, so let's practice the questions. Repeat after me, please. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Which, Which country, country is larger, is larger? Canada, Canada, China. 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 or China? Canada is larger than China. Canada, Canada is China. larger than China. China. Which city has the largest population? Tokyo, Which... Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Which city, Which city, has, city, city has the largest population? population? Mexico City, Mexico city or, Sao or Sao Paulo? Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Tokyo has the largest population of the three. And the last one. What is the most the beautiful largest. mountain in the world? What is the most, is the most beautiful mountain, mountain, in, the most mountain, mountain in, the in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. I think, I think Mount, 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 Mount Fuji is, is the, the, most the most beautiful. The most beautiful. Exactly. <clears throat> I need you please, okay. I need you please to create an original question with the three examples. This is the moment for you to get your notebook. Let me just silence it. Okay, this is the moment for you to get your notebook and we're going to start becoming creative. I need you to create three examples. So three questions similar to the ones that we have here. So you can use anything that you want to compare. You can say, um, which city is better, uh, Santa Ana or San Salvador? And you can invent a question. Uh, which, uh, which place in El Salvador has uh, more women, for example, uh, San Salvador, San Miguel, or La Unión, and you can invent an answer. What is the best place in El Salvador? And you have a question, right? I am just giving examples. I need you to create three similar questions using the three forms that we have explained here. One with a comparative, one, yeah, one with a comparative and you give the two options, another one with comparative or superlative forms and you give the different options, and one with only a superlative, okay? When you have any of the three examples, you can let me know. You can raise your hand and give me an answer. Okay, let me know. I have one teacher. Okay, give me your example. Which car is the bigger? The, the black one or the 
white one. Okay, in this case, in this in this case, where you say which car is the bigger. Okay, you say which car is bigger. Bigger. Okay. Uh -huh. Which car is bigger, the black one or the red or one? I don't remember the other color. Yeah, because the is for the superlatives. Okay. And in this case, you say which car is bigger, and you are comparing. It's bigger. Which car is bigger, the blue one or the black one? And you say, ah, no, the black one. Okay. So which car is bigger? No, you can make the correction in your question. Excellent. Thank you, Janet. Okay. Another another You're example. Welcome. Me, teacher? Go ahead. Which teacher. lake is large, Guatepeque or Ilopango? Aha. Uh -huh. Ilopango is longer than Guatepeque. Okay, you say which lake is? Is large. Larger. Larger. Uh -huh. Which lake is, is larger? larger? ¿Cuál es el más? Largo. Largo. Uh -huh. Okay, and it is Guatepeque or Ilopango. Okay, Ilopango. which lake is larger, Guatepeque or Ilopango? Good, very good job. Make the corrections. Humberto, go ahead. Okay. Which city of El Salvador has the most beautiful women? Okay. Um, Santa Ana has the most beautiful women. Oh, pardon. Uh, Santa Ana City has the most beautiful women. Okay, very good job. I, I really clap your answer. <laughs> Not because I am from Santa Ana, but it's true. And... um. In the case of women's, remember that women's doesn't exist. You are going to say women. Only one woman. Women. Plural, women. women. Okay. So women. Uh, women. W O M E N. Good. Women. Women. And the sentence was correct. Manuel, go ahead and then Evelyn. Okay. Which is the most difficult video game? Battle Toad? Or contra. Contra. Mm -hmm. contra. <laughs> Which is the most uh, difficult video game? Contra. In this case, you can say which video game is uh, the most difficult, and then you give the two options. But it, it was good. Mario. Okay. Mario Bros. <laughs> Evelyn, go ahead. Okay, I'm not sure. Can you say which city is hotter? San uh -huh. Miguel or La Unión? Yes. Okay. Which La city Unión is hotter? Is hotter. <laughs> La Unión is hotter. Yeah, I can imagine. Is it hotter? Yes, it's hotter. Yes, Carlos, go ahead. Which mountain is higher? The Everest or the Kilimanjaro? Uh-huh. Which one is Which higher? One? I think the Everest. Everest, yes. Yes. 80, 88,000 uh, 8, meters. <sighs> and Kilimanjaro, uh, 5,000 meters. Imagine. Oh, my God. And the lady who went to climb the Everest. Oh, my God. My respect. Uh, yes, the Salvadorian <laughs> women. Yes, there was a Salvadorian lady who went to climb the, the Everest. Yeah, wow. my, my respect. Yes. So... It is uh, very nice. I can say, I am going to ask you a couple of questions. Which subject is uh, more difficult, English or social studies? What, English or? Social studies. What? Social English. studies? Estudios sociales? Social studies. <laughs> uh -huh. Which one is more difficult, English or mathematics? English. Mathematics. I was expecting you to say English. mathematics. I am engineer, so. Ah, <laughs> that's why, right? That's why. And you see, uh, as I am a humanitarian, I would say mathematics is more difficult for me. And I was like, just true. <laughs> I am more humanistic than, than numerical. Yes. <laughs> But I, I am good at making numbers and everything and, and counting money and all that. I am very smart, but with mathematics and things. Eh, well, oh, wow. let's continue with English. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most beautiful city in El Salvador? San Miguel. San Miguel. El Pital. El Pital. No. 
Siri. Chalatenango. Suchitoto. Suchitoto is a beautiful place. Well, I, I love Talchuapa. It's yes. most beautiful. <laughs> Talchuapa is really beautiful. Usulutan. I live in Talchuapa. <laughs> Who lives in Talchuapa? Really? Hey, really? <laughs> uh, yes. I am from Talchuapa. <laughs> I don't live there, but I, I am from Chalchuapa. I'm ah. from Santa Ana. Hey, <laughs> Humberto. <laughs> yeah, you look very familiar. I don't know where I have seen you before. <laughs> yeah, but imagine Vanessa. On the weekend, we are going to be in the market together. Hi, Vanessa. How are you? <laughs> Good. Hey, that's okay. pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. So let's see. Uh, I have another example right here. Right. And in this one, we're going to put a little bit into practice, right? I have options right here. And I have, for example, long, longer, the longest, dry, drier, the driest, big, bigger, the biggest, famous, more famous. Uh, don't say famous. Okay. It's famous, famous, beautiful, more beautiful, and the most beautiful, good, better, the best, bad, worse, and the worst. And I have eight questions and for sure the questions here have the specific adjective that you need to use to complete the question okay so in this case what do you think you need to use in the first sentence do you think that we are going to compare or we are going to talk about a superlative comparative Okay, can we do the same? Can we can we do the two? Sorry, can we do the two forms? Which country is smaller? You can say Monaco or Vatican City. Uh -huh. Which country is smaller? Monaco or Vatican City? Or if you say which country is uh, the smallest? The smallest? Monaco or Vatican City. So in this case, you can create both. Which waterfall is higher? Or which waterfall is the highest, right? But let's create the examples with the ones that we have right here. Let's see. <clears throat> what will be the comparative or the superlative for crowded? Oh. What will be the comparative or the superlative for crowded? More the most crowded the most crowded or more crowded right for the next one Large. larger more. or largest uh -huh. larger or the largest good very good so in number one we're going to complete the sentences because of the time so we're not going to end up here without time. Let's use in the first one. Which country is smaller? smaller? Monaco or Vatican City? Which one do you think? Vatican, Vatican City. City. Monaco. I think it's Vatican I City. <laughs> Vatican City. <laughs> guessing, guessing. We, we can guess. It's okay. Don't worry. So in the first one, we're going to use a comparative. Let's do the second one in the comparative form. Are you? Hi. How about read the complete which, sentence in the comparative form. Which waterfall is higher? Excellent job. Let's do number three with comparative. Which, which city, city is most crowded? Most crowded. Most crowded. Or Cairo. Comparative. Comparative. You say more. More, more crowded. crowded. Most, right? more, crowded. Crowd. most is for superlatives. More is for comparatives. Okay. So we have to remember oh, that. Okay. okay? Yeah. So you say which city is more crowded? More crowded. Hong Kong or Hong Kong. El Cairo? Cairo. I think it's Hong Kong. Number four, comparative. 
Which lake is larger? Caspian Sea or Lake Superior? Lake Superior. Lake Superior. Lake Superior. The Caspian Sea or Lake Superior? Let's see. Number five. In number five, as you can see, you don't have any noun after the verb to be. So in this case, we are going to use a superlative. superlative. For, the other, for the other ones, you can say which country is, which waterfall is, which city is, which lake is. And this is the form for the comparatives. For the superlatives, you say which is, and you give the, the superlative. Longest. Number five would be for the highest. The highest. Which is the highest? Which is the highest? Yeah. Which is the highest? Mount Aconcagua, Everest, or Fuji? And thanks Mount. to Carlos, we have the answer. <laughs> Everest. <laughs> yeah, Everest. Not Everest. <laughs> Number six. Do you have a subject there? No, right. Superlatives. It's going to be a superlative. superlative. Very good. Observation. Observation. That's very nice. What is... The, long, is long, the longest, 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 longest excellent. river in the world. What is the longest river in the world? The world. What the about the next or one? The Amazon. You uh, say the Amazon, which maybe. City? I think uh, the Nile or the Amazon. Okay. I think it's the Amazon. The Amazon. Yes. The Amazon. Yes, the Amazon. Which city is? Mm -hmm. And in this case, we're more, going more most expensive. More expensive. <laughs> Which city expensive. is the most, more, the most, 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 expensive. most, the most expensive? And the last one, what is superlative? Uh, deeper. Expense. Uh, deeper. The last one is deep head. Superlative is deepest. The deepest. deepest. The deepest. The deepest. deepest. Right? Do you know what is the meaning of deep? Profundo. Más profundo. Profundo. The deepest, oh. right? The deepest. What is the deepest lake in El Salvador? Do you, do you know? Uh, no. no. No, right. Many people no. say that it's Cuatepeque. <laughs> I don't really know. Many people say that. That it's Cuatepeque Lake. That it's the deepest lake that we have. Maybe, maybe because it's a volcano? <clears throat> yes, maybe. I think that that's why. But it's one of the most beautiful. So, important to remember, and before we go with the conversation, it is very important to remember the intonation, right? Intonation for this type of questions is very curious because you have to go up and down, up and down. When you say, which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut, right? You have to go down, up, down. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? And you focus on the options. Can you help me to read the sentence? Which city is bigger? Bangkok or Bangkok? Beirut? Very Bangkok. good. Beirut. Beirut. Which city is bigger? And you go down, right? Which city is bigger? Bangkok or Beirut? The intonation, it's going to change. Which city is bigger? <laughs> Bangkok or Beirut? Uh -huh. Which is bigger? Bangkok or Beirut. If you have more options, you have to go down and up, up and down. Okay. Which country is the most interesting? Korea, Korea Brazil, or Greece? Brazil or Greece? Okay. Greece. And you go down. The and last the one is always down. Yes. Because you go like, which, which city, oh, sorry, which country is the most interesting? Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Right, for you to land on the answer, right? This is the form of pronunciation that it's also important for you to sound a little bit more natural when you speak English. <clears throat> because in English, we don't have a stress, right? We don't have a tildes. So we need to use pronunciation a lot. So let's repeat with me. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which city is bigger? bigger. bigger. Bangkok, Bangkok, or Beirut. 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 Which country is the most interesting? Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Which, Which country, country is the most interesting? Korea, Brazil, or Greece? 
Excellent job. So we need to remember pronunciation, pronunciation, pronunciation. It's very important. Let's, <clears throat> let's see, let's finish today with the conversation, okay? I need one volunteer to help me with the conversation. Evelyn, ah, your hand is up. <laughs> and Janet, thank you. You see, destiny. Uh, okay. Evelyn and Janet, can you help me with the conversation, please? Okay. Here's the geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Uh, ask me the question. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know, Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the, um, in the Americas? I think it is the Mississippi. Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded? Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota, Bogota is the highest. Excellent job. Very good job, girls. Very nice. <clears throat> so now you can go and compare and choose superlative things in the world because you learned that tonight. So my dear students, it has been such a big pleasure to work with you this night. And uh, the last thing that I have to tell you is to please advance on the platform, enjoy and rest a lot on your vacations. And I am going to see you when we come back on Monday, August 9th, okay? So have a great uh, rest. Please advance or finish the platform. I think that's the best. If you can finish, check that everything is right. And if you need anything, make sure that you count on me. Have a great night. And I am going to see you next next week. Take good care of your vacations. Take care. Bye-bye. Be careful. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Nice vacation. Thank bye -bye. you. Enjoy your night. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher.